little bit of a different video I have for you guys today. It is 1030 on Saturday and I was doing some work and reflecting on how much this statement right here has changed the way I operate in my business and in my life. So if you're stuck in business, if you're just beginning in business, no matter where you are, I truly believe 100% of you guys watching it need to hear this message. I'm going to break it down how it's really helped me get to that next level mentally, right? This is not going to be so much content strategy and funnels and run these ads. It's going to be how to mentally overcome barriers and really crush it for your agency from you. You're the owner of your agency. You're the owner of your future. If you can fix yourself, you can fix everything else, including your business. All right. This is the quote or the statement. I sort of formulated the statement, but it's based on a concept that a lot of other people talk about. You could Google. All right. Most people give up because they think it's more complicated than it is. All right, I'm going to switch over to red here. I'm going to break some stuff down. If you do not have a long attention span, do not watch this video, but trust me, you're going to want to stay for this video, especially for this breakdown, because a lot of you guys are almost too smart for your own good. I was at one point, I sort of fixed it. This has allowed me to really just get ahead mentally and take action, which is the biggest thing I encourage all of you guys to do. So the first thing I want to talk about this quote is just the basic breakdown of it. People think that some tasks are more complicated than they are, Thus, they don't take action on those tasks, all right? Let's just break down a very specific example. So right now, our offer is using AI to help people get on social media and bring inbound leads for their high-ticket services or high-ticket coaching offers. So I'm going to take the example for this whole video as posting YouTube videos. We have helped over a dozen people now post, blah, blah, blah. I'm not here to pitch you. Let's say posting is a hard task for you. You don't want to get on YouTube. You think it's hard, blah, blah, blah. You have difficulty on the y-axis here, on the x-axis, you have time. This is what most people have in their mind when a task comes up. I'm going to go over YouTube videos. This can be for cleaning the dishes. This can be for going to take out the garbage. This is for, for going through school, whatever it is, guys. This is what most people think, at least in my mind. The difficulty of it, perceived, and then the time it's going to take, perceived. All right? So let's say YouTube videos. People think it's super difficult. Oh, man, it's high difficulty. How do I come up with title ideas? How do I hire someone for editing? I don't know how to edit. How do I get thumbnails? All right? You think it's very difficult. All right, let's go with timing. Uh, this is most people. And again, I, I know this because I work with these people. Oh, man, it's going to take me years to build a following. Oh, I don't know if I can monetize my following. I want to be rich now. I don't want to wait six months to build a following, right? So high time perceived, high difficulty perceived. So overall, the task of YouTube is very high in your mind. It's very high difficulty, high time. And you've already, this is the whole point of this video, you've already put a mental barrier and created a monster around this activity. And I'll get into that graph in a second. But picture this reality. You post on YouTube tomorrow and the video goes viral. You get 10,000 views, you get 1,000 subscribers off the bat, and all of this, everything you just thought of, that big monster that you made, oh, you thought it was so hard, so much time, so difficult, it's all erased. It's gone because you did the action and you proved this to be wrong. Now, is there a possibility that it does take a long time? Of course. Is there a possibility that it is hard? Of course. But what if, right, you go viral the first time you post? Or what if, whatever the situation is, right? That's what I'm trying to say. In reality, it's a much different scenario than in imagination, which is this next graph here. So the difficulty is a scale, right? Easy, hard. It's a general scale. You have your imagination right here, and you have your reality right here. What actually occurs and what you think is going to occur. A lot of people suffer more in their mind than in reality. That's a really famous quote, I believe, by Seneca. If you're into stoicism, you know who that is. You should be taking that seriously. So let's say, again, posting on YouTube. Your imagined difficulty is all the way up here. It's like a 10 out of 10. Oh, it's so hard. It's going to take so much time, this, that, and the other. There's too many people in my niche. I don't know how to speak on camera, blah, blah, blah. You post once, and you post twice, and you get better, and you fail, and you get better, and you keep getting better. You realize, oh, it's really not that hard. I'm pretty natural on camera. I'm actually a business owner, so I have stuff to talk about. I actually know how to edit. I actually know a friend that has a friend that can edit my videos. You start figuring stuff out. So in reality, it was really a 4 out of 10 difficulty. Don't get me wrong. It was hard but it was nowhere near a 10 out of 10 difficulty like you thought it was. And again, this is everything, especially for you beginners. Like starting a business, it's so overwhelming. There's an offer. There's lead generation. That's the biggest thing, marketing. How do I book in sales calls? How do I get someone to pay me? Can I even guarantee results, right? Take action because you're putting starting a business by just erase this stuff. You're putting it all the way at the top up here, right? When people start a business, and I get beginner questions probably three to four times a day in my DMs. If you have questions about this, leave a comment or DM me. I'll answer all your questions or leave a comment if you like this style of videos because I have hundreds of lessons I could share with you guys from running over five to 10 businesses and now running this business for over 14 months successfully now. I could share it all with you. But when you guys are starting a business or trying to get you know from $2,000, $3,000 to 10K, whatever it is, you think that's this hard. You think it's all the way up here, right? 
But if you just knew, maybe you, you do something here, you do something there, you figure out an offer, you, you test an ad, it does well. Okay, in reality, it was down here. All right, so all I'm saying so far, the point of this video is that just because you think something is hard does not mean it's hard. All right, there's a huge, huge, huge discrepancy between what you think something is and what it actually is. All right, that's what I'm getting with these two graphs. All right, if that doesn't make sense, comment and I will clarify because this is insanely important and this helps me so much. This helps me take action. And when I take action, I make money. Guys, that's one thing. You know, I'm not running the biggest business right now. There's other people that are more qualified than me. But whenever I take action, I make money every single time. That's something I could tell you. All right. Every single time I take action on something and I stick with it, I make money. Now, the last thing I want to explain to you guys is some of you guys are really talented, smart, smart people. I consider myself to be a pretty talented person. I educate myself. I watch YouTube. I've read a lot of books. I've graduated. I think well. I know how to think and study and learn. I'm not the smartest person out there, obviously. I might be above average. I don't know. I'm not one to say, right? Let's just say I'm dead split in the middle, all right? If you're on the smarter side or on the super dumb side, you know, I'm not trying to judge. You are whatever, whatever, whatever. You are better off or worse off, I should say, than someone in the middle, all right? So someone in the middle is much better off than someone that's very smart or someone that, that's not as smart. You could be either one of these people and still make it happen, but I'm really talking to the super, super smart people right now. All right. A lot of you guys are super smart and you overcomplicate every single step. Guys, I did this for years. I did this for years. I overcomplicated everything from setting up an offer, setting up a website, a, a logo, reaching out to people. I overcomplicated everything. And the more you overcomplicate, the more you think, the more time passes, the less action you take. And when you take less action, less A, you make less money, guys. Right? You make less money if you take less action. All right? So if you're overthinking every little thing, it's because you probably think it's complicated and it's because you don't understand this concept. Stuff is not as complicated as you think it is, all right? It's not, it's really not, especially if you're smart, even if you're not smart, because you do it, you take the action, this is the workflow, you take the action, you absolutely fail, right? Because you're not gonna get a, the right the first time, but you learn, then you take the action again, and then you probably fail again, but you'll learn and you take the action again and you keep on doing it. And eventually you're going to take this action guys and you're going to W and then you're going to get another W and you're going to keep on winning. All right. That is like a formula. Again, this is not like crazy stuff. You're probably, I'm probably saying stuff you already know, but I want to reinforce that this has helped me so much. And you have to understand that it's not as complicated as you think. And you have to stop making up these huge scenarios in your head. Like, Oh my gosh, you know, running ads is so hard. I don't know how to run ads. Oh, just spend, three bucks a day for a month and see what happens. You might waste $90. Okay. Okay, cool. That might be a lot of money for you. It might not be whatever, but you might see success. You might make a sale. You might see an insight. And again, that whole process you learn and then you keep on going. All right. So the whole point of this video, I hope you understand this statement or this quote. Most people give up. They completely stop. They just shut down everything. They stop trying. They give up. They go back to, you know, doing something they don't like, or they stop. They literally give up their dream because they think something is complicated when it's not. Stop living up here and start living in reality. Start doing stuff. See what actually happens. Test markets. Test your offer. Go do stuff. Don't just think, oh, they would never buy my product. No, do 100 outreaches and see if they'll buy your product. All right. I'm passionate about this stuff, guys, because I spun my wheels for years thinking about this stuff. Um, and I'm just sort of reflecting now that I'm in a more com comfortable place. I have a social media presence. The business is doing well. Leads are flowing. Sales calls are being booked. I'll have a video on that attached up in the top right if you want to see sort of more on what I do. This might reach a bigger audience than usual. But yes, guys, just stop overcomplicating stuff. Take action, fail, learn, and take action. And keep taking that action. Don't ever give up. And you will walk away with a win. Compound that win over a year, over two years, over three years in business. And you can see success. I guarantee it. That is all I have for this video. If you have questions with this, let me know. If you want more videos like this, give me a topic down below. If I have insights into it, I'll make a video similar to this on your topic. If not, check out the rest of my videos. We book sales calls with AI content, stuff like that. Um, and we can help automate your business, whatever. I hope this was enjoyable. I love making these videos. If you want more, awesome. If you don't, totally cool. But I'll see you in the next video. I recommend that you check out this next. Take care.